Our beading lesson today uses some really simple techniques and you can tell this is a really trendy look that you can create at home. So what you're going to do to get started is add some cording to chain. And what I've done here is just tied a simple knot onto the end of my chain. And you'll want to work with about a yard for about a seven, seven inch bracelet. The basic knot is kind of a lark's head. So what you'll do is take your cording through the back of the link and then come down through the middle to form the first knot. Then we're going to come up through the back of the chain link again and down through the middle. And this forms the, the entire stitch. So what, the way that I determined this was by using a large link chain and some larger cording, it really fills it in fast. So you really only need one knot. And then you can just go to the next link and do the same thing again. So bring your cording up and through and then through your loop. And then you'll do the same, same knot again, up through the link and through. And what this creates is besides having kind of a funky bohemian look on your chain, it also gives you some extra color in your piece and it gives you a place where you can add some dangles. So once you've covered your whole chain with the cording, you can come back and add some dangles with jump rings. You can also use head pins to create beaded dangles. And you can make some decisions about whether you want to attach that right at the link or if you want to do it between the link. So if you take a look at this one. You can see here, I'm being pretty careful not to let my chain twist. And when you're working with big materials like this, that makes it easier. And your cording is also staying pretty flat here. But if it does start to twist as you go along, then you can incorporate that as part of your design too. And what you can do to attach some dangles is to just open a jump ring and string that right onto the cord itself. Of course, you could also add some things on the other side to embellish the chain. So just link your jump ring around and close it up. And then you could also add some other head pins and things. All these places here between the knots are places where you can make attachments. So to, sh to do this same process on a smaller scale, it's really easier if you have a special tool that can hold your chain for you. So for this piece, what I did is just attached it to this bracelet station. So to get my chain on here, I just linked it over the top of the post and then put the wing nut on here to fasten it in place. And then you wanna make that pretty tight and that prevents your chain from twisting while you work. And it also makes it easier because it's kind of holding it since I'll be using a needle. So this one, I'm using some thinner cording and this is a cotton cord and that's because it will go through my beads here. And I chose some metal beads that have a little bit of a larger hole just to bring in some other color. So when you're working with cording, that's something to think about too is, you know, the whole size of your beads is really going to make a difference in your piece. So to get started with this one, it's the same idea, but first we're going to tie a knot to attach the cording to the bracelet and fasten it here at the end. Then we're going to do the same type of knot by bringing the needle up and through and then through your link, then over the top and down. And Normally this type of tying station, you wouldn't use it um, with a piece of chain like this. So I kind of keep tightening my wing nut as I go along because it wants to kind of come loose as you're working. Now here's where I'm going to add a bead. So rather than this time adding a dangle, I'm going to add the beads as I go along. So I'll string my bead right onto the needle and pull it through and then go ahead with my next knot. So the bead is going to be positioned right between those chain links and it also kind of helps the chain to stay flat when you're wearing the bracelet. So again, coming through my loop and I'm keeping a really short tail here so that so much cording doesn't have to pass through each bead. So again, it's that same type of knot coming up through the link and then bringing it down through and then we'll add another bead and do the same knot again. And you just wanna keep going as you're going, position your cording in place there between the, along the surface of the link so that it stays nice and smooth. And you know, when you're using, choosing needles for this type of project, a large eye needle is nice as long as it will fit all the way through your beads. I'm using a collapsible eye needle because this, these beads need a smaller needle. 
So you just keep doing the same kind of stitch along, and then when you get to the end of your bracelet, you can tie a knot, add a little drop of glue, and then add a clasp, and you are good to go. It's a really easy way to give your jewelry a bohemian look.